gonna get in the second round of this thing. We just beat somebody. We've got one out of one. Who are we paired up against? I really hope it's not Hikaru. I hope it's like Feruja. Yevgeny Tomashevsky. Well, only one thing to do, huh? We're playing a 2700 rated player. This is like the number seven or eight player in Russia. E4, he's gonna go E5. Let's see if we can course him. He's gonna he's gonna play the two knights. For sure he's gonna play the two knights. And now he's probably gonna play knight a5 or bishop b4. That's the professional variation that gets played here. I'm gonna play bishop b3 back. Takes, takes. He'll probably outplay me. <laughs> uh, I saw Ferruja play this against Magnus. Wow. Deep thought there from, uh, from the GM. Okay, let's play knight f3 hitting this pawn. I'll play h3 as well. Very slow here. Start things. Is it gonna go like d5? Okay, h3. This, this is this is very 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 standard protocol. I just take away the g4 square. I'm gonna castle. I gave him two bishops, but the center is pretty close for now, and I can basically hold out for a, for a future advancement. Very solid position. Very low risk. I can play bishop e3. I can play d4. Uh, maybe I will play actually d4 now. All right. I'm gonna just try to play fast. It it it's generally worked for me in the past to try to play quickly against these guys, not show them a huge amount of respect. Okay, knight d7. So, I have knight d5. Um, I'm gonna play it. Again, I... Biggest thing here is just trying to put some pressure on the Grandmaster and make him think. You saw in the last game how hesitation made me, you know, get low on time. And that's really the killer in these blitz events. You just got to try to play confidently, even if you're not, you know, fully sure of every move that you're going to make. Now I'm going to clarify the centraling, uh, central positioning of the pieces. Maybe he'll play here. He does. I'm thinking bishop f4. Uh, but I can also take on e7. I can also take and take on e7 and just be extremely solid. But that's not really my style. Takes, takes also play like takes takes knight of uh, queen f3 so why don't i do this takes takes i'm gonna play queen f3 this is not necessarily the best move objectively speaking but i'm gonna put a rook on the open file he's gonna look for a move like c6 probably to kick out my knight um but we'll you know we'll see i kind of like my position i'm i'm not i'm not too disheartened it just shows you that you know the e4 course works even against you know former top 20 players in the world pretty decent position here for white Close structure means that the two bishops don't get a whole lot of activity. So he plays bishop f8. I wonder what he's going to do with his queen. I'm going to play like, like rook. Yeah, rook d1. d1 seems pretty natural. Bishop e3 is a very strong square for the bishop. What is this? So he's telling me to move, yeah? Can I go here? Right, because the, the bishop is hit on the next move. So where is he going to move his pieces? Okay, so what if I just go back and play bishop e3? Again, I, I, I don't know if, if what I'm playing is right, but I do know that he's pretty passive. You know, and bishop a6, I, I have this move. I'm, I'm not sure it's, like, great, but... Let's see if he can outplay me from this position. This bishop, again, is still just so passive. Might have been better to put the knight on c4, but it's, it's so hard to tell. Okay, plays b5. That is a commitment. It's a good move, though. Maybe double up on the on this file now. Maybe rook d3. Think about this. Um, let's yeah, let's play rook d3. I think with this rook here, he's gonna play bishop b6. I'm gonna double up. He's slowly starting to untangle, but I do have the time advantage. Okay, queen g3. I don't actually know what that does, but again, I just need to play quickly. Just main, you know, putting the queen on a good square. He plays f6. Maybe knight e2. I feel like my knight's not doing anything there anymore, so I'm going to move it. He's going to go here, I think. Maybe I have this move. I have this move. Is that a good move? I think I have it. Hits the bishop. Looks like a decent idea. He can't take me. Bishop is hit. Okay. He still can't take me, but I, I, I don't have... 
I don't have a knockout punch. Bishop h6. Knight f5, rook d3, knight h6, king h8, knight f7 doesn't quite do it. Uh, maybe bishop here, although I don't love this move. He still can't take me, but... Oh, I guess he has this, but then I have this. So my, my other idea here is that if I move my knight, I can take like this. That was my other idea. Ro this is also not so bad, but this was my idea. So I want to move and I want to take like this. So he's only got 37 seconds on the clock. Um, which I like. Okay, he gets out of the way, which I don't like. Okay, I guess I'll go knight f5. Offer him the trade. He's looking for an exchange. Let's bring the knight back. I don't know what to play. <laughs> kind of running out of moves here. Let's play b4. Trying to bring his king. Are we going to go endgame mode against Super GM? Uh, okay, wait. How about Queen C3? Not, not allowing him to get what he wants. I don't even know what he wants, but I'm not allowing him to get it. Queen D4. F3. Still not letting him get what he wants. C5. Now I might have to let him get what he wants. Takes. King f2. Ah, oh, so ugly. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, he's got, he's got the pressure in his favor right now. Putting a lot of pressure on me. He's got the outside pass pawn as well. He's gonna go here. Ah! Wait, he didn't do it. Why didn't he do it? That was so weird. Okay, let's go knight d1, knight b2. I still don't see a way through for him, but he's going to try. But knights are so tricky in these kinds of time scrambles. Okay, I'm putting as many pawns as I can on the dark squares. <laughs> okay. Very tense position, though. I play king f3. Can I play king e3? Okay, he's gonna go here. I'm gonna go here. Can I play for a win? Go knight d3. Take. We won! We won on time! Oh! Let's go! Let's go! We taking down Super GMs! Heart is pounding! Let's go! Tricky position for the king! Because this fork! Yes! That's why we do it! Let's go! Two out of two! That's what I'm talking about! Woo! We just beat the 38th ranked player in the world! 34th active! Number 8 in Russia! Let's go!
Let's go.